Hey guys, I'm back out here in my shop and I thought I would show you a little section of the wall I mentioned the other day in one of my videos that I had this little hand drill that I was going to mount up on the wall as well as some other old tools. And uh, so I started, I hadn't really planned on shooting a video today, I was just going to come out here and use my CNC to uh, make a few templates for an upcoming project. While I, and while that's running I would work on hanging some of these things on the, on the wall here. But I, I found an old toolbox, an old wooden toolbox that was passed down. It was my dad's and I th believe it was his grandfather's before him. And I found some really neat old tools. And some of them I'm not even sure uh, what they are. So I got some uh, planes here and I'm not even sure what some of them are. So I thought, well, what better way to maybe learn a little more about these tools and to ask the uh, people that watch uh, the YouTube videos here and, and woodworking community so I'm going to uh, set the camera up where I can kind of show these up close and I'll describe them and tell you what I know about them and if you would leave your comments down below or email me or whatever to let me know uh, what you think they are so anyway let's get started doing that okay I'll start off by showing you some of the little saws I found in there this uh, I know this one's really old I mean all of these my dad had uh, probably way before I was ever thought of but anyway this is a little hand saw here uh, I believe this is a rip saw I think what they call this uh, anyway it's got the really long blade and you can tell this one is actually uh, kind of bent up a little bit um, can't quite make that out what that what that says right there and this one's got the same thing so apparently these were made by the same people but uh, another little, uh, another little hand saw here. Okay, there were a couple more of these in here. I've already got one hanging up on my wall. Uh, these I believe are called a brace, uh, and you, you hardly ever see anybody use these uh, anymore. Uh, got a couple more here, and you can tell these are also really old. And even in that box, I haven't brought them out here yet, but I've got probably. The, I don't know, 10, maybe a dozen or so of the different diameter uh, bits that go with these things. So, uh, like I said, all this stuff is really old. Okay, here's just a little assortment of some of the old tools. Uh, you've got these uh, rasp. Uh, actually, seems like I remember as a kid using this one to uh, shape my Pinewood Derby uh, entry uh, way many years ago. I've uh, got a couple different sizes of those. Got some uh, really old screwdriver here with a wooden handle. Uh, you know, just I would love to know the stories these things could tell. This is, looks like it's some kind of a knife. Uh, of course it's not sharp at all right now but it's got a bunch of crud on it but I think I'm probably going to spend some time cleaning some of this stuff up. Not really sure what you call this or if there's a special name for it or not. If any of you know please leave a comment below. Another little round file uh, that's, uh, again, the old one with a wooden handle here. And this, I'm not sure what this is. It looks kind of like a little bowl gouge uh, for a lathe, but it's really short, so uh, I'm not sure what that would be used for uh, either, unless it's, uh, I don't know. Give me, your, give me your thoughts on that. Okay, and lastly, I've got some uh, planes here, and I actually had to look look this up to see what this was. And I, I, this, I think, is called a spoke shave, used for shaping. Uh, this has got a uh, Stanley emboss on it. it. Looks like it says number eight or eighty. It almost looks like it says eighty-nine and or something, but I'm not sure. Anyway, you can tell this thing is really rusty. Uh, I'll have to uh, try to do some restoration work on this. Uh, and then I've got these other little planes. I'm, I'm assuming these are block planes. Uh, again, these are really uh, dusty and are in dire need of some restoration. Uh, this one is a Stanley. Uh, I don't see a number or anything like that. I don't know if these have numbers on them. But, uh, you know, somebody like Matt Cremona, I'm sure, would probably uh, take one look at these and know exactly what they are. Uh, and I've got another little one here. And it is also a Stanley. 
and I don't see a number on it, but uh, got a lot of crud I have to clean off of them. But anyway, I thought this was really cool. I had actually, I've had that old toolbox, you know, my dad's been gone now for about 16 years. Uh, and I've had that box for a long time. And I just kind of forgot some of this stuff was in there. I knew there were some things in there, but I just wasn't sure what it was. But it was kind of neat to run across these. And then I've got this old, uh, I don't know if this is a Stanley. I don't see a, a brand. Uh, put on this anywhere. Looks like somebody's tried to carve some initials in there. But uh, anyway, this is a number six. Uh, again, could probably use some uh, restoration on it. And I actually uh, had to glue the handle back together. It had broke off and I've got to clean that glue up and stuff. Uh, just tried to get that because it was completely off. But uh, anyway, going to try to uh, do some restoration on some of these things and then also I want to get them hung up on my board here so if you know what these are uh, please leave a comment or if you, you know, know anything about them uh, help me to learn a little something about these uh, and I guess I need to go back I know Rick uh, or excuse me Nick uh, Nick Ferry did I think did a video a while back uh, on restoring a plane so I need to go back and uh, watch that and kind of see what he did. Maybe I can get some tips from that. Okay, so thanks for uh, taking a look at these old tools for me. Again, if you uh, got any comments and might know what some of this stuff is or how to go about uh, restoring them, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate all the uh, info you can give me. Uh, thanks again for watching this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please hit the subscribe button below and uh, hit the like button as well if you like these videos. And thanks for all my new subscribers. So until the next time, we'll talk to you later.